This video is about how to simply visualize arbitrary select statements that you've got in your VBA code. Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com and today I would like to address um, questions that I got over my VBA string building tutorial. I'll link that up there. And um, most astonishingly to me, most of the questions, or at least a lot of the questions, were not about the actual string building technique, but I received equally as much questions about the simple show data sheet method I used in that sample. And I did not talk about that much because it was just a helper function in that tutorial. So um, I just said, yeah, it's there. It visualizes your SQL query, your SQL select query. And that was it back then. And many people asked me, how does it work? Can we have a sample of that? And I already uploaded the sample to um, the video and I will do that again. So look down in the video description for a download of the Access Database I'm uh, showing today. But still I received a couple of queries. How does that work exactly? Can you talk about that in more detail? Can you explain how it works? And that's what I'm going to do now. In my tutorial about building SQL strings in VBA, I used lots of these small procedures and I was obviously focusing on the SQL string. That is something I'm com going to ignore completely today. Today I'm going to focus on the show datasheet function. But before we look at the code, let's run this once to show you what it does. I ran the code and the show datasheet function displayed the results of the select query in the datasheet view you see on screen now and it displays this message box. And if I just click yes, I'm back at the code. So it was just meant as a little helper during that tutorial video, but as uh, so many people inquired about it, we are going to look at the code now. So this is it. It's very, very simple. What I do, I define a constant, the query name, that is an arbitrary name that should be something that is usually not used within your application. Then I just define two variables, the DAO database, well, Think about that in a second. And the DAO query def, that is the definition of an access query. What I do first is just use here another little helper procedure, drop query, and I pass in the constant query name. Here is the drop query um, helper method, and it just has one line of code. It says current db query devs delete the passed in query name. So it just deletes the query. And here is something you should always do with care only on error resume next um, tells the, the um, VBA execution code execution that any errors in this method should be ignored and uh, execution should just be continu continued as if the error did not happen. That is something that you should only use in very rare circumstances. And this is one, I try to delete the query. But if that does not work because the query does not exist, then I don't care because the result would be the same. If there is any other error, like um, the query is locked at the moment and cannot be deleted, yeah, well, then there's not much I can do and I need to handle that elsewhere. So I do not really care about errors in this context. Now let's continue in uh, the main show dataset function. 
I get a reference to the current database, the, the database the code is in, or the, rather, to be precise, the main database that is running right now. And then I create a new query in Access. I use the name I defined here, query dummy display, and I pass in the SQL. And that is the SQL that got passed into this method from the outside. And just by creating the query def, I create a new access query and then can use do command open query and just pass in the query name. And that is basically all that's about displaying the data in um, the datasheet view. And this tiny message box, box thingy, that was just another neat little trick for me to simplify the visualization in my sample, because the message box will trigger the access window displaying the query to become uh, the foreground window and be actually displayed. And if I um, answer that query with yes, I just close the query without saving it. And I just once again call drop query to uh, delete the query right away so that it does not cl clutter my um, access environment. And then I'm done. That's basically everything. And if I, I in my video, I always closed and removed the query. But if you want to look at that later, you can just keep the query as it is and look at it anytime. Let's let's do that. We just run this query here and I say, no, I don't want to close the query. I'm still back in my VBA environment. But if I switch to the access environment, here's my query and I can uh, do anything I would uh, do with a query. And I can even close it and reopen it from the navigation pane here and I would still see the same results. So that's almost it. But just one tiny helpful additional information. I use the immediate pane here to display the SQL, but that's not what I'm going to show you here. I want to do something else. Now, this is um, like, um, like you normally would work in, in your application if you are not doing a SQL demo. You would basically build the SQL string and then you would do something with the SQL and you would obviously not call the show datasheet method. But um, let's do a quick thing. I just write a um, tiny method here. So that does absolutely nothing. I just put in that method to um, run the code without error. And now I do something that might actually be very helpful debugging your SQL strings. Now I run the code and the do something did nothing. And now I put in a stop um, stop. Uh, stop directive in here to um, hold that. That is similar to um, a breakpoint in code. Now the execution is on that line and my SQL is still um, filled with a SQL I I'm, I'm processing here. And now I've got the show datasheet function here in the immediate pane. And I can still execute this here and it still visualizes my query. So this can be very helpful as, as a helper method in your normal projects to just display any SQL you are passing on to a form or for processing or whatever, just to help you take a look at it 
to see if it actually shows the results you were expecting. So, that's it already for today. I hope you liked the video. If yes, please hit the like button below and maybe you want to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like uh, videos like this one. Thank you for watching and bye bye.